Out here at Gillette Stadium, Andrew Callan and Karen Garrigan for the Boston Herald, where uh, we're frankly alone. The Patriots have not been in the facility this week due to another positive COVID test, this time from Stefan Gilmore, working remotely on Wednesday, again here on Thursday. Uh, but Gilmore's test has, has several implications. We'll start, though, with the ones that pertain to him as the best player on the team. And he's sidelined, perhaps not even for Sunday, but at least indefinitely as we stand right now. Yeah, I mean, he was asymptomatic. Mm -hmm. But again, you have to still go through the protocol. And again, who who knows? We we couldn't get an answer out of Bill Belichick today out of on Cam Newton's status. And he's been in the protocol for a while. So do we know uh, if Cam Newton's playing Sunday? No, we don't know anything. And we also, and I don't think the players know, but they're preparing as if they're going to play a game. Right, and the Broncos fully expect to come here, kick off at 425 from Gillette. The Patriots, again, if they, you know, all goes well at this point, will have one practice on Friday. But that still remains to be determined because they're undergoing rounds of tests every single day. The most recent, all negative. Gilmore's test came up positive after Tuesday, again retested on Wednesday, confirmed that he was positive. And the tricky part there is if you go back to Cam Newton's original positive test, which surfaced late Friday night and was published Saturday, the incubation period for this virus is typically about four to five days. Yeah. Gilmore's positive test would then align with possibly, possibly being infected by Newton four to five days later. And the two reportedly shared dinner that Friday night, which again, is did not totally verify that that happened, but it would align. And then if Gilmore then perhaps infected other teammates in Kansas City, being on a team plane with 20 other members of the team, players and staff, on a team bus, in a crowded locker room, and then on the field, they won't know likely until Friday night, Saturday, or maybe even Sunday morning, whether or not Gilmore has spread the virus unknowingly given he just only recently tested positive. Yeah, I mean, there were there were no positive tests today, Thursday. But again, that doesn't mean or preclude having positive tests Friday or Saturday, given the, given the timeline that we know. And not that uh, it might impact the Chiefs as well, because Gilmore was <laughs> played every snap. And after the game, he had a little hug session with uh, Patrick Mahomes. So who knows where this is headed? So far all negative tests for the Chiefs, but the Patriots now have three players in the COVID reserve list and they can come back as soon as they produce two negative PCR tests separated by 24 hours, which even though Gilmore tested positive, again, as recently as late Tuesday night, could theoretically come back for Sunday, but they don't even know if they're going to practice here tomorrow on Friday. So still much to be determined from Gillette Stadium. For Karen, I'm Andrew. We hopefully will see you on Sunday.